Okay, so I made an error here, which was totally on purpose, by the way, but let's check it out. So now I can say, okay, there's 500 and 520, which are items that, that I know uh, I don't have on my side. So they're on the statement, but they're not on the book. So that means I'm going to have to add those to my books. So I would think that if I added everything else, I would have a difference of 520 at this point in time. I should have a difference of 520, but I have a difference of 580 or another way I can look at it. I just entered, I just checked off this 11053 minus, if I look at what the total is over here, it should be minus 11633. So I'm off by 580 and I would think I would only be off by 500 plus 20 or 520. So if I say the difference between 580 and 520 is $60, I can go in here and say, okay, what in the world happened? K the heck paso this time for goodness gracious sake. There's a $60 amount. And you'll recall that we did that kind of thing where I had an error in the payroll that I said was going to pop up if you were following along in this long practice problem that's why i put the same check number so this one that was three five this this check number 10 12 was actually three five one set three five one two didn't tie out to here i was wrong so it's really three five seven two so notice if you're going quick you might say ah, i'm just going to reconcile anyways i'm off by 60 dollars whatever right you might force it to reconcile but you don't want to do that. You want to get it exact because you're going to end up with the kind of these issues. I can say, because I, I should be able to figure out exactly what the difference is. So I'm going to like, oh, okay, there it is. So that makes sense. Now I'm off by 520. I'm off by 520 because I have to add these two into the system, which I will do now.